Hello everyone, welcome back to another Axisymmetry tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Rococo motion capture system to work with the Axisymmetry DE or Dual Engine Edition. So why would you want Rococo to work with Axisymmetry? Well, I'm sure there are a ton of possibilities, but in our case, we want to have a live actor and a 3D character interact in real time for a virtual production or a live event. So if you're thinking of doing the same thing or getting the same result, then this tutorial is definitely for you. So obviously to pull this off, you're gonna need to own a Rococo SmartSuit Pro and you're also gonna need a Axymetry dual engine license. And since this is going to be an in-depth tutorial, I've decided to split it into two parts. So this video, part one, is gonna focus on how to get the Rococo plugin to work with the Unreal Editor for Axymetry. And part two is gonna focus on how to get your character ready in Unreal Engine before getting it to work in Axymetry. Just FYI, everything that I will be covering today is based on documentation made available by the Axymetry team. So if you would rather read the instructions instead of having to listen to my sexy voice, I will be leaving a link in the description. But if you would rather watch a video, let's get to it. Before anything, please make sure the Unreal Editor installed on your system is the same version as the Unreal Editor for Axymetry that is installed on your system. As you can see over here, the original Unreal Editor is 4.26.2. And over here, the Unreal Editor for Axymetry, I have installed 4.26.1. As you may have noticed, the final digit is different, but it doesn't matter as long as the first three digits match, you should be safe. And now it's time to install the plugin. Go to the Unreal Marketplace tab, type in Rococo in the search bar, select the Rococo Studio Life plugin, click Install to Engine, make sure you have the right version, and click Install. Wait for the install to complete. And now if you open the Unreal Editor, go to Plugins, type in Rococo, and you will see that the Rococo Studio Life plugin is now available. Okay, so obviously you don't need the Rococo plugin to be available in the Epic Games Unreal Editor. You need it to be available in the Unreal Editor for Axymetry. And if you're thinking, okay, so why not just copy and paste the plugins from the plugins folder? It's not gonna work. Here's how you do it. You need to download and install a software called Visual Studio 2019. Don't worry, it's free as you only need the community version. So go ahead and just download it. Once you're done downloading it, go ahead and just install it. Continue. Make sure you are in the Workloads tab and scroll down till you reach Game Development with C++. Make sure you tick Unreal Engine Installer and Windows 10 SDK 10.0.19041.0. You can then proceed to click the Install button which should be right down here. Mine says Close because obviously I've already done this. All right, now we have to edit a text file and you need to locate the install location of your Unreal Engine editor, the Epic Games ones. Usually it would be uh, under your drive C under Epic Games. But you know, if you like to be different like me, I have it installed in drive E, but anyway, it should be under Epic Games, um, the Unreal editor with the version you're working with, uh, UE 4.26 in my case, uh, engine, then plugins and marketplace because we downloaded the plugin from the marketplace and smart suit and source and smart suit and public and here we are. And the file that we need to edit is smart suit blueprint library. So just open it with your favorite text editor like WordPad and scroll all the way down. Just go ahead and locate the last two U function lines and just add category equals smart suit on both of the lines. I will have this in the description so you can just copy paste it and then go ahead and just save. And now you have to download something called the Agen library. And I will leave a link in the description so just go ahead and download it, you will get a zip file. Go ahead and just extract it. After you're done extracting, take a peek inside, uh, go to the Agen folder and copy everything except the SRC folder. So just select everything, copy. And now we have to go back again to the install location of the Epic Games Unreal Editor folder and go to engine and source and third party and find Agen and Agen again and go ahead and just paste everything that you have just copied. 
My folder is already populated because obviously I've already done this. And once you're done with that, now we can finally start the Unreal Editor for Aximetry. Go ahead and open your project or create an existing one. I'm gonna create a new one, Rococo. Test. And now you can go to the Aximetry tab and install plugins. Okay, once all the plugins have been installed, you get a little notification here that says plugin installation complete. You can go ahead and check under plugins and type in Rococo. And you can see that the Rococo Studio Live plugin is now available and you just need to enable it for it to work with the Unreal Editor for Aximetry. And that is how you install the Rococo plugin in the Unreal Editor for Aximetry. And that's the end of part one. Part two is gonna be a much longer video. I'm gonna show you guys how to rig your 3D character even if you have no rigging experience whatsoever. I have no rigging experience whatsoever. I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your project in Unreal Engine so that your character, your rigged character can receive the mocap data from Rococo Studio. And once all that is set and done and cooked, all you have to do is fire up Aximetry and just watch the magic happen. Anyway, I hope you guys stick around for that and I'll see you in the next video.